I'm not too sure what, what happened with the writing. There's always this co controversy with me that we wrote it there, but then we recorded it there. So there's a certain amount of influence from where you wrote it to when you ended up recording it. And the, the transformation from that to that was obvious. That was, you know, we used to go away maybe to Spain, you know, for a couple of weeks and stay in a nice hotel and write, you know. And then we'd go to record. Um, sometimes if we had a band, we'd rehearse. In the case of London Town, we had a band. But the initial writing or arranging was maybe Paul, a bit of rehearsal, album. The fact that we did it on boats is because I was into boats. I always had a boat and um, got Paul and Lynn to, into the idea of it a little bit. They used to come and visit me out by, in my house. Um, then when we was down in his area, I would take a boat down there and live on it, that kind of thing. So his idea was, oh, why don't we get a few boats and we'll just go away and, you know. And also working out the country, of course, for, for, for reasons of, you know, economy, I suppose. I mean, you have, sometimes you have to work out the country for tax reasons, for example. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So there's an element of that. And, um, but, you know, the main element being, hey, we're going on a vacation here and we're going to make an album. <laughs> we're not going to make an album and have a vacation. We're going on a vacation. <laughs> that was like, whoa, never mind about the album. So it was like that. But we, we played and enjoyed our sort of vacation, but we also was on a boat and we were there to make an album. We had session people, I mean, we had people from the studios setting up the, you know, the back of one of the boats was a studio with all the equipment. We had about, I suppose, a dozen people with us who were helping us out. And we traveled from base to base, bay to bay, um, within that structure of the islands. And we had a great time. And, and there's a certain energy to that, you know. So once we'd got those, then we went back to London and some of the songs, of course, were what they were so because it was, we were now in London we had the London influence and that's why we had the, the Tower Bridge on the back of it to show the two different influences basically um, I suppose it was called London Town because you know the, the, the song that we we did was about London that's all it was just I don't know why it was called London Town that would have been Paul's call on that you know he usually had a call on all of that well on the, on the, on the creative side it was usually him and Linda you know but based on, again, if it weren't for me having a boat, it wouldn't have been done on boats. That's the kind of influence I had on that. But again, you know, it was the three of us after, after that. I mean, <laughs> we promoted it. Just the three of us promoted uh, London Town, the video, you know. So, I mean, it went from that band to this and then the trio again. <laughs> it was like juggling but you know it, it still always ended up with the three of us doing our own thing in, in between bands that's the way I, I see it no i didn't suggest bagpipes i don't think so i mean maybe because we were sitting there you know writing a song I and mean, wouldn't it be great with bagpipes i mean i don't know i would think that the bagpipes suggested themselves in that song come on I mean, I go over to Paul's house for breakfast, which is kind of the norm. And I was living in another part of the estate and a little cottage. And then he says, I got this idea. And it was the chorus. So, I mean, that was the song as far as I'm concerned. I said, that's great. When are we doing it? See you tomorrow, three o'clock. You know, and we sat down on the porch and then we wrote the words. And then we kind of worked out the arrangements a little bit. It was very, it's three chords, you know, for Christ's sake. It was dead easy, it was just three chords, but it was the words that <clears throat> were important. And then it was, oh great, we'll get bagpipes on it and that will give it the, the Scottish feel, it's a song about Scotland. <clears throat> and anyway, when we came to put the, the actual pipes on, the drone of the pipes was in a different key to the w way we've written it. It was actually in the D where we have written it in the A. And so we had to transpose to the D for the pipes to come in. Okay, that was just a complete, well, fate. It was just a, a mis you know, it was like a, we didn't plan it. So, you know, they're all going, oh, yeah, well, you've got to have the papers. They can't do that, you know. 
said, well, we'll transpose it up to there then. So that gave the song another lift because we had to work to the pipes. And then when the pipes went down to just a drone, we could then go down to A and we could stay in that. Then we could bring it back up. So it's all about the arrangement and changing it and not being boring. And it was a long song too. So that was that. That was a t totally different. And, and they also recorded the pipes actually live outside in the mountains and, you know, outside of the studio and all the natural echoes of, of Scotland. And in fact, Billy Connolly, you know, paid us a compliment. He says that he liked the song, but he didn't like the words. He thought that a little bit. Sure. And I said, thanks, Billy. But, you know, he was having a go like he does. But to get that from Billy Connolly is good. You know what I mean? It's a true Scottish, like, you know, you don't mess around with Scotland, laddie. But he was, he was complimentary, shall we say. It's funny, though, but yeah, because <laughs> that was a Green's Playhouse, we went on stage all in kilts, you know. So it was kind of, a, it was a night, you know, and the pipes came down the middle of the, the, the walkway onto the stage, up the steps, and it was just a great night. All the Scotsmen were, like, Wee! loving it, you know, so... Yeah, it was one thing led to another, and then we did the Mike Yarwood show with it. Then they all came, the Scotsman all came back to the hotel and walked through somebody's wedding reception playing the pipes. You know, what I mean, it was just so much fun. And then the uh, the video up in Scotland was a laugh too. You're working with all these like great guys, farmers and stuff who can play. You know, who are playing the Campbell Town pipe band. Like you can imagine them, the fun and the drinking and the stuff that was going down. But wow. Nothing surprises me anymore. It just it w wasn't expected, if you see what I mean. It really wasn't expected. It was a, hey, it came out Christmas time. You know, that's when you put a single out, Christmas time. You know, we'll try it out, and it's a sing along. And we did the Mikey Arwood show, which is the biggest comedy show at the time. And, you know, a few, they it always used to have like, you know, special political guests on there. Dennis Healy was on, and, and it worked, you know. So uh, then from then on, whoosh, up it went, you know. But I, I'd say this, I don't consider my consideration, my, sorry, I don't consider my input of that song to be as big as Paul's because he came up with the Marlikin, da, 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 da. you know, I didn't. I just helped write the rest of it. But the song was the chorus, for sure, absolutely, the, for sure.